Hey basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about different fast break basketball plays and basketball drills that you can run with your basketball team. Let's get down to the clipboard, let's check these out. Okay, so I'm just going to go over a simple basketball drill that you can run with your team. And, of course, this is a 3-on-2 situation. You can run a 3-on-2, 2-on-1 full court drill as well. But today we're just going to be focusing on a simple fast break drill. This is a drill that you can run for maybe 3 minutes five minutes or even eight or ten minutes with your team so what we have is three offensive players two defensive players they're going to be now sprinting down court and as soon as those wing players get to that free throw line what you want to see happen is them running to that free throw line extended and then cutting towards the rim now this is standard with any basketball fast break that you'll ever see and the reason why you want to see that happen is because now you've got, it's a three on two situation. You've got one player taken up, this player is going to then either stay in the middle when you pass that ball, and that's going to be an easy layup, or what's going to happen is he's going to cut off player two, pass over to player four, simple tic-tac-toe type of play. However, there is more advanced options, and of course in this drill, the offensive players go in the back of the defensive line, the defensive players go in the back of the offensive line the player who scored also goes in the back of that offensive line as well another option that I like to show my players is player one can make a decision and attack that elbow what that's what's going to happen here is that's going to draw over the defense in which case could lead player two to having a nice easy basket this is another play that you can explain to your team another option is player one can attack one of the elbows and we're gonna have player two and four swing baseline they're not gonna be screening for each other but what's gonna happen is now we're gonna be looking at player two to be open if player five pops out we want player four to cut back in and this could be an easy layup now this has to be super quick you want to have your players sprinting this has to be a really quick play because of course on a fast break you're going to have the other team's defensive players who are coming back down to defend your players and of course the play that i've mentioned once before on this channel is Player 4 can come down, set that screen on player 5, player 2 pops out, player 1 goes to that elbow, passes over to player 2 for that 3 point shot. Now one quick drill that you can run, no matter with 3 players, 2 players, or even 4 players, this drill works really well. So let's say coach is over here and he has that ball. Let's go get a referee uniform and say that's the coach. So that's our coach. He's a referee, but he's a coach. And what we're going to say is whoever this coach passes to, whether it be four, two, or one, let's say, for example, he passes to one. Player two needs to go and touch this baseline, and these two players need to run back on defense. Meanwhile, on offense, we have player four, two, and one. They need to get down court three on two, and now we can run those plays that I just showed you. However, there's also a secondary thing that we need to watch, and that is how do we get that ball down court? We don't want to have player one running up the middle with the ball, or running up the sideline with the ball. We want to get that ball towards the middle, so player one needs to make a decision. Does he pass to player two, or does he just take the middle and player two takes the outside? So player one has that ball, let's say he makes that decision to take that middle. Player two needs to go on the outside, player five and four need to get back, and now it's going to be a three on two situation until player two sprints back. Now keep in mind, we want this three on two to be as wide as possible. Anytime we're on a fast break, we want to be wide. We don't want to be tight towards the middle, we want to be super wide. The reason for that is now this defensive set needs to now really pay attention to what's going on and another play that I can show you is very simply player one just attacks one side let's say he attacks that elbow player two and four go down towards the sidelines and now he has two options for three-point shots and now we would have player one pass over to player two for that three-point shot I have also seen this and I've never really taught my players this either but I've seen it work 
a lot of times. So basically we have the wing players go right down towards those corners. And as soon as they reach those corners, they cut in towards the rim. And now what you usually see here is player 1 passing over to player 2 on this side, which would then draw player 5 over for a pass over to player 4. Actually, I've seen this a few times actually at the NBA level as well. Now I've got some 4 on 3 plays and drills that you can run with your team as well. We want to be a fast running team, at least the teams that I like to coach. I like to have them running non-stop. I want to have a fast break team always looking down for that long full court pass. The reason for that is easy baskets, that's the main idea. And of course, we have the same idea as what's just happened. It's a 3-on-2 chaser, but now it's going to be a 4-on-3 chaser. So we've got 4 defensive players and 4 offensive players. Coach is still up here with the ball and he passes to one of those players. Player 3, in this case, would then go touch the baseline, and the rest of these defensive players would run back to play defense, and generally speaking, on a 3-man defense, you want to go into a triangle, uh, you just don't want to be running totally everywhere, running a man-to-man -man, uh, when you're in a fast break, uh, defensive-wise. And now we would have player 5, 3, 1, and 6. Let's say player one's the point guard. We want to get player one that ball. He's going to dribble up the middle of the court. And player five is going to then fill that spot where player one was. Remember that three-man weave and five-man weave and eight-man weave and all that stuff that you used to run as a kid? Well, this is why. So now we've got these players dribbling and running down court. What I want to see happen is, of course, in a four-on-three, we're going to still have these wing players wanting to cut down towards the net from the free throw line extended. However, we have one extra player. What is he going to do? Well, actually, I like to have him go out towards this free throw line extended and three point line area. And there's a reason behind that. So why would I have a player, two players cut down player one going and trying to attack player one and player five sitting out here? Well, there's a really good reason for that. I would have player 1 pass over to player 5. Meanwhile, player 3 is trying to get back. That's going to draw player 2 red out. And I want to see player 5 pass down for player 6. And yes, this is a play that you could run. This is all stuff that we're trying to practice in drills so that when it gets to the game, the drill or the game sounds and feels like the drill and they do it second nature. Another drill, or I mean another play that you could run, is when these wing players, when they cut down, instead they're going to then cross along the baseline, just like that 3-on-2 play that we I showed you. So player 6 and 3 cross, and now at this point I want to see player 1 either attacking player 4, which is going to draw a double team, in which case we can have player 5 cut down the middle and player 1 has two options. He can pass to player 6, pass to player 5 for a layup, or if player 2 steps in, a kick out for a 3 point shot. So there are some 4 on 3 plays. Here are some 4 on 2 plays that you could run in a similar type of drill. So this drill is actually a lot of fun and I enjoy running this with teams. So. I've got four offensive players and four defensive players. Now, if you know your players' names, which I hope you do, but if you don't, then you just call out their number or whatever it may be. But let's say coach, he passes the ball to player five. Again, same idea, player three touches the baseline. However, the coach is also going to call out, in this case, let's say he calls out player two. Then player two and three, even though player two may have been already starting to run back down on defense... It doesn't matter, he needs to turn back around and touch that baseline. Meanwhile, player 1 and 4 need to get back. And now we have all four of these offensive players coming down court. And now we've got a 4 on 2 situation. Now, what I want to see happen is in this situation, I really want to see the wings attacking the basket. And there's a reason for that. Player 1 is going to be attacking player 1. These wings are going to be taking up player 4. Player 1 can just kick it out for a 3 point shot. It's very simple. However, what I, what I also want to see happen, there's another play that you can run. And that is, again, same idea, swinging the baseline. 
And now we can have player one or player five attack this elbow. Player one attack that elbow. And now player one has multiple options. He can pass to player three. He can pass to player five who's cutting towards the basket. Could be an easy layup depending on his size. Or he can do a skip pass out to player six for a three point shot. Or he can pass to player five who passes out to player six. If there's a lot of players coming back on defense, then what you might find is a better option to pass the player five, get that double team, and then kick it out to player six for a three-point shot. These are all fantastic plays and drills that you could run. I hope that these plays and drills help your team win more games. If they do, let us know in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time.